recording. And all right. So I said you create um, a div, give it um, a class called card, then you import those image img i don't know the name of that image who knows the name please it should be image uh, is one so it should be one img slash one dot jpg so and this image you give it a class of card img top then I, I don't know if i'm correct so let me check please because it's been wrong I, all these things are not carried there for head okay card img top yes yeah, correct so are we good And we continue. Nobody's answering me. Because the 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 siphon fall. I am yeah, good. All yeah, right, good. all right. So, have you checked the image? Hope it's not bigger than. Check your browser. It's not bigger than far. It's normal. Code with a blaze. Are we good? Yes, sir. We are ready. All right. So now back to our code. Below this image, we create um, a div. I think that div, we give it a class of cardboard. Cardboard. A class of card dash body. So this is where we put the whatever we want. Okay. Well, cardboard catch it. Card body. Then inside the card body, create H4. This is where the name of the person goes in. And let's say we give it the name of Aswini. And the class should be add dash title. Then here you write something about the person. You can just say So this one, the class should be cat dash text. Cat dash text. Then below this P, you can now do your normal button again. Then you type read more. Then the class of this button should be btn btn dash outline. Info. Now, what this will do, it will give the button, the button will be blue, but it will have a small line 
around it, to have a blue line around it. So if you have done all this, check your, your browser, let's see. The secret to understanding all this is for you to practice. If we finish this class and you just dump it, you will forget everything. In fact, you have to learn this thing again from scratch. But if you keep doing it, continue practicing it. You know, most of the, so there are some things that me self I do forget because there are some part of this code that you won't be using all the time. So if you want to teach people, you have to use it to teach them. So you have to reference again. But the ones I use every day, I will never forget them. So the more you use these things, the more you write code, the more you build websites, this thing becomes part of your daily routine. It becomes part of your life. Most of these things, I type them without even looking anywhere. So keep practicing. Yes, sir. Are you done? Yes, sir. Have you checked your browser? Yes. Is it working? It's working, sir. Who, who else has gotten it? If you click on the read more, there's a blue listing around. Yeah, I've yeah. Done yeah. It too. I've done it too. You have done it. Who else? I have. I feel the image. Uh, Pamela, are we good? Hello, Pamela. Hello, Esther. Yeah, we are good. My network is really bad. I, I, I kicked Elsie out mistakenly. Uh, she can't join again, so she have to watch the video. She was, she connected with two devices and it was echoing in my head. So I had to remove her. So, can we continue, please? Yes, sir. So. so now, this is when you now copy. Copy this. Look at why I copied from the cold MD3, from the div cold MD3. That's what I highlighted. Look at it very well so that you don't make mistake. Copy it. Come down here. Press Enter. Paste it. Press Enter again. Paste it. Press Enter again. Paste it, save, and check your browser. That's what, sir. That's what, right? Yeah, four. Four niggas. Oh, wow. I lost today for YouTube. I don't mind. <laughs> hope, hope you guys are enjoying the class. Yeah, so, so we, we appreciate your... If you want to appreciate what I'm doing, just I want you guys to be good at it. Now, if you notice, you see that this one is red, this one is green, this one is yellow, this one is blue. I believe you can do that. Mm -hmm. hmm? Yes, sir, we can do it. So all you just need to do, change the name to danger, success, warning, info. you get all this guy. Are we good? Yes. Should we finish the class today or should we leave the footer for tomorrow? Yes, we can finish it today now. It's just small, small things that are left. Is this footer that is left? Should we finish it today? Yeah. I can't even remember how I did this footer set. I've forgotten how I did this footer. So let's continue. So now we are going entirely out of all the deals. We are coming out just before the body. You see where my cursor is? Just before the closing body. Are we good? 
So you create a tag called footer here. Okay. So inside the footer tag, uh, let me see how I did this guy because I don't want to use a different pattern to do it. I can do this thing in so many different ways. So let me just use the one I used with this stuff to teach you guys. Okay, footer div, all right, all right, let's continue. So we did a div and we gave it a class of container. And now if you notice, we want things to, to sit side by side. So what we did here, you give create another div and give it a class of row. Remember, whenever you want things to sit side by side, you must make use of row. Now we create a p tag. Inside this p tag, all these guys here are links, home, programs, instructor, enrollment, about. They are all links. And who, who remember the name we're using, the name of the tag we're using, creating links? Who can remind, remind me? True. Eh? No, True. The, the name of the tag we use in creating links. Somebody should remind True. me. Eh? Yeah. Yeah? No. A tag. No. Ah. You guys have forgotten. Pamela, can you help them? Okay, Uncle, 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 Uncle. Uncle A. Uncle Tag. The, the name is Uncle Tag, but the representation Uncle is A. Tag. So what we now do, create the Uncle Tag. And just, it's a dead link now, it's not linking anywhere. You say home here. At the end, you put this guy. The name is Baptic. Uh, sorry, um, what's the name of this guy? So I've forgotten the name of this straight, straight uh, slash. You come to this one, you say A, href, dead link, program. You put this guy again. You come to this other guy, you say, instructors. Okay, they are on caps, so I'll just leave it, dead link. Instructors. Put this guy again. Come here again. What's the next thing we have? Enrollment, dead link. Enrollment, the spreading of enrollment. Ah, let me check the spelling of enrollment, please. E -N. Double L. Double L, right? Okay. And the last one is what about all right so we are good check it to your browser let's see how it looks Cast. yeah the screen please Sorry, but the enrollment doesn't have double L, it's just one L. Oh, wow. okay. Sorry. That's why I wanted to check. Oh. No, most these little, little things confuse someone most times. Like, who no go school, no go. So, you, you're saying that I didn't go to school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm booking this your head. 
<laughs> All right, can we continue? Yeah. Safe, check your browser. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Now, but our our stuff is not centered, right? We need it to be centered. Ah. So come here. They are all wrapped inside this P tag. So give the P a class of text dash center. Everything will be fixed. I think. Please be fixed. Please be fixed. It didn't fix so. Uh oh, it didn't fix. Why? Ah. This guy is supposed to fix now. What is wrong? It didn't fix. It didn't fix. It didn't fix. It didn't fix. How did I do this thing the last time I did this guy? <laughs> Giving all of them text center is not cool. Wait, let me see. Okay. See, this is where the creativity comes in. Just think of how to center this guy. Let's use the center tag and see. Let's see if it is center. It's still in center. Shit. Is it? Ah. Okay. Why? What's wrong? How do I use text Yeah. In center. Why? I want to center all of them at once. They are all in lines. Don't work. Let's see. For where? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is how this this is how we do this stuff. One small thing we just want to mess you up. Did it work? Please, how did I do this thing the last time? Wait, let me check my code. Because... Ah, 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 ah. Okay, 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 okay. Don't worry. So, everything was, yeah, everything was wrapped inside another div. That div is called code MD12. That's a full width that you now put it. Then, this div, you now give it another class of text. Center. I think that's what fixed it. I hope it works now. If it doesn't work, it will be assignment. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> boss, boss, go back, go back to your screen. Let me throw you the lecture. <laughs> yes, sir. That's the way that it doesn't work, it will be assignment. Because I know I've done it before. And man, you just go and study it to the assignment. If it gives you a headache, if you learn it, you won't forget it. Are we good? Yes, we are good. I'm with you. All right. All right. Boss, you are not good, though. I mean, oh. I'm not good. Ah, you're bad. Go to run jamam. So I think without wasting much of our time, let's just do this guy. Let me just get this guy from here. So this is another rule. Just get this guy from here, please. I don't want to waste too much time. So this is where this row ended. We are starting a new row. And put this guy here. I'm good, boss. I'm good, boss. So this is what we did here. I didn't want to start typing this whole stuff from scratch. 
So out of this row that contain this, uh, have you seen this row? Are you guys seeing my screen? Mm -hmm. yeah. So we created another row. This row now, we now divided into three, cool MB4, cool MB4, and another cool MB4 down here. But the first and the last cool MB4 are empty. Inside the second cool MB4, we now created a form tag. Look at the form tag here. Form, close it here. I've shown you guys input before. For those of you that were part of that class that we did table, we did form and input. So I showed you input, type text. And in Bootstrap, you have to give this guy a class of form control for it to work. You guys yeah, should just- about about, well, about wait, Abel. Yeah, I'm waiting. Listen, if I just type on for us, because it does boku everywhere. All right, all right, don't worry. Let's work. Oh, just like this. We are seeing it, we write it. Okay, right, no be to write with the problem. Oh. I thought it would be as you know, it would be explained. Yes, I'm sorry. Don't worry, don't worry. Let me type it. Correct, oh, correct. Let me correct. type it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm working on a CIA move. So, this is it. Have you guys done these three divs? Ah. Look at this. Look at this three div now. This cool MB4, cool MB4, and cool MB4. Have you done it? Forget about this last one. Well, let me remove it. Sir. Have you guys done these three divs? We have one, two, and three. Have you guys gotten it? Yes. All right. Inside this second div, type form. Just like this. Then give the form an ID of footer form and give it a class of form inline. Please let's be fast because I want to finish this class with this current uh, Zoom class. Are we good? Yeah, I'm good. Hello, are we good? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, we are. All right. So inside this form, you type your input and press tab, it will give you this guy, and you say text. If you have done this, save it and check it to your browser. Control S and check it to your browser, please. Just in space bar. I just say input, type text, name, check it to your browser. Have you seen it? Yes, one box, white box. One box, right? Now, mm. have you seen the way the box is? Look at yes. the way that box is. Have you seen how it is? Yes, sir. Now, come back to your code and give that input a class of form control. Form dash control. Save it and check that box again. Okay. Have you seen the difference? Yes, it's lighter. Yeah, the box is looking finer now. Now, below this input, let's create a button, B-U-T-T-N. And that button, you write subscribe. 
then give the button a class of btn btn dash danger save it save it and check again okay is it working yes subscribe but it's not in the middle mine is in the middle though look at it can't you but see my it's screen in the middle. it's in the middle now look at my screen again mm. if you notice you see that this button and the form they are touching each other we want a space between them are we good yes sir now this is where we make use of okay. Yeah. And no, no, not BR. BR is to break it to the next line. This one we use and NBS. Uh, and NB, SP. NB. Check it out. If you give it a, a little space. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Yes. Now I want to show you something. Remove this class of form inline here. Remove this form inline. Remove it. Save it and check again. Let's see what happens. Okay. Have you checked it? What happened? The subscribe went has down. Gone down. Yeah. Yes. Now I'm showing you this thing so that you know the function of each of those classes. That form inline that is there means the anything that's in between this form should be placed on the same line. So that's what that form inline was doing. Save it again and check. Are we good? Huh? Are we good? Yes, we are good. Yes. All right. Yes. So, what do we have next in our previous design? Now, if you look here, we just have one long text. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All this normal copyright stuff. Let me just copy. It. But we'll never put email for you. Yeah, okay. Now, to put that email, come back here and just give it placeholder. The name is placeholder and, and put email. Oh, we are running out of time again. We just have 10 minutes. Oh, shit. I don't want to create another video. If this class it's ends... Round up quickly, round up quickly. So, now, just below this guy, just below this guy, create another thing and call it, give it a class of uh, cool MD12 because it's a full width. Then create a P tag and paste, uh oh, what is this guy? Create a P tag and paste all these guys. Let me just copy it from that spot. Yeah, let me just copy it here. So just, so look at it. It's class code 12, text center. Then I created a P tag. Let me just break this guy here. Yeah, now inside that P tag, we now write www.efix.com slash slash copyright. Now, you know that small C, look at this small C. This small C that you're seeing after copyright. Yes, sir. If you want to get it, you use and copy semicolon, you get that small C. So this class was 2020 powered by Kaswini Kas 
finish web finish web design webinar save it check your browser if it's working have you checked your browser hello Mm. Have you yeah. checked your browser? Is it working? Yes, so now let's 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 design that footer now. Now, see this is the footer, right? Mm. Now go up here to your style and call it footer. So first thing, if you look at our formal design. You see that the footer, the color is gray. So I'll use my color picker and get the color. The color is H44444. So you just use H444. So first of all, give, give it background. Background color of this. Save it and check again. Save it and check your browser, please. Put that background color. You can still use 444 to give you the same thing as 444, the same thing. Background color as 444. Color, you want everything in that footer to be white color. So the color should be as FFF, that's white. Is it working? So, this means, sir. Eh? Let's go back, please. It's working. Good. So, we want to give it a padding, padding of 2% so that it will have space. Yeah. Padding of 2%. And if you see, you see that the color of this, the color of this stuff, they are all blue. We don't want them to be blue. So you will now target the anchor tab, footer A. And you say color. We want the colors to, to be white as FFF. And we say text decoration. Now, if you see these links, if you hover on them, you see a blue a line, a little line. So we want to remove that line. To remove that line, you say text decoration. No. So we don't have those. We don't have those lines again. So as you're doing it, be checking immediately. You'll be seeing the effect. So, and if you see, you see that this, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, that guy the speaker or nothing. I will show you me the text decoration is still there. Uh, we didn't target that stuff. I don't work to text decoration. Oh. List. Yeah, text decoration. Yeah, okay. Put that in. Oh, let's continue. I just want this class to finish. So, now if you notice, you see that these links they are touching this, they are too close to this uh, form, and the form is also too close to this gap. So we can just use break tag to fix that. And fix that with break tag. You can call me and say, um, before this guy, you put a break tag here, B R O, and before this guy, you put a B R O tag here. I think that should fix it. 
here. Fix that one. But it didn't fix this guy. So let's see if we can fix it from here. Yeah. I don't want to do a whole lot of styling. All right. So we are almost done. Now, our footer, if you look at our other design, we have a dark border here. Are you seeing this dark border? Mm. Yeah, so we get that border. We come here in this footer, we give it border top. Border top, we say, for or let's use 8px 8px solid the color is black 000, zero, zero. let's see ah it's more than eight let's use 16 16px yeah that's the border and also if you notice you see that this our cards are touching the footer so we want it to separate So we go down to where the footer is. Before the footer, we put a break tag there. We are save it. All right, we are good. And we have completed our website. Solid what? Let me go up. Border. Border top. 60px solid as 000 for the lack. We have less than one minute. Any moment from now, class will be over. Once it ends, I'm going to thank you guys for attending today's class. So your assignment will be to design Conga website. By ourselves? Yes, now. You say, you go, you say you cause that, that, you cause that problem. So now I don't read your assignment already. Yeah. <laughs> With what you have learned, I don't watch the video over and over again. Now, this is it. I will take you guys, okay, I'll, I'll make another video and I'll show you guys how to design Conga site. I'll just show you guys the secrets. Once this meeting ends, I'll show you guys, don't worry. Boss, boss, I have a question quickly. Yeah, yeah ask, ask. Um, all these um, materials you got for this bootstrap, is it that we can download?